All right, new problem. Let's handle it the same way that we always have been. Start with that question sentence first. How many packs must be bought? Okay, so I don't know exactly what math that tells me to do. Because remember, sometimes they give you the math. Sometimes the problem sentence doesn't. So here in this case, it really didn't. It just tells us what the story wants us to end up at. And the story wants us to end up at how many packs we need to buy. That's it. How many packs do we need to buy? So let's keep that in mind one more time. How many packs do we need to buy? Let's get into the information here. Let's see how that leads us to the number of packs that we need to buy. There are this many classrooms and they each need, you know, a certain number of markers. Okay, 48 classrooms that each need 32 markers. My party people, y'all tell me. If we're talking about perhaps the total of markers, what operation do you think we're going to need to do with 48 classrooms and 32 markers? What does it sound like we'll need to do? Yeah, if we're trying to get to the grand total of markers at any point in this problem, it's safe to say that multiplication will need to be used at this point. 48 classrooms, 32 markers each. Let me write that down. So 48 classrooms. 32 markers each. So to get the grand total, we will multiply to get that grand total of markers. Okay, great. Then it says the school already has 160 markers. Now, so far, it might not be obvious how that 160 plays in. We have to read the whole context here. It says the school already has 160 markers. So I'll write that down. So already has 160 markers because remember this whole time we're asking about how many packs we need to buy not how many markers we need to buy how many packs so we got to be careful there right we've got to be careful and understand the story completely and that's where we see at this last part it says markers come in packs of 12. so i guess the real question is again if we're asking how many packs need to be bought well, we need to see how many packs of 12 we need. Everybody, does that make sense to you? If we're trying to see how many packs that we need to buy, we're going to essentially see how many packs of 12 we need. Dividing by 12. Because if we divide by 12, boom, we'll see the number of packs that we need. So with that said, let me write that down here in green. So markers come in pack of 12. right here in packs of 12. And that means that we're going to be dividing. Now, because we finally know, because we finally know that, okay, that's where the packs come in. If we need whatever multiplication this is, what do we do with this 160? If this gives us, multiplying this, gives us the total that we need, what do we do with what we already have? Yeah, we're going to subtract. If multiplying 48 times 32 gives us the number of markers that we need for all 48 classrooms, well, then we need to subtract the, the 160 because that'll give us how many we have left to get. Again, we already have 160, so we don't need to count that. We will subtract that. There we go. I see some of us really starting to have those light bulb switches come on. Very, very good. So that's the story here, everybody. Again, the story comes first. To understand how many markers we need, we'll go ahead and multiply the 48 times 32 and then subtract 160 because we already have that amount. So we'll subtract what we already have so we can truly see how many we need. And then we'll divide that by 12 to see how many packs we need. Let's get it going here. Let's try this out. 48 times 32, right over here. Let me move this over slightly and let's get to work. So eight times two, that's gonna be 16, carry the one. Four times two is eight, carry the one is nine. Then we'll write a zero here so we can work on that next place value. And we have eight multiplied by three, which is 24. 
carry that two. And then we have four times three, which is 12. Carry the two is 14. All right, so from here, we'll add this all up to finish things up there. So that's gonna be six, nine plus four is 13. That'll be five, and then bring that one down. So we have 1,536 markers. So this is again, 1,536. But remember everybody, this is not what we're dividing by 12. We have to divide how many we actually need. Because we already have 160, we will subtract the 160 from 1,536. Again, we already have 160. So here, six minus zero, three minus six, gotta go ahead and borrow, absolutely fine. 13 minus six, that'll be seven. Four minus one will be three, and bring that one down. So we already have 160, which means that we need 1,376. That's how many we need. And we'll divide that amount by 12. So we'll do 12 going into 1,376. I know some of us are watching this right now thinking, oh man, this is make or break. I might've gotten it right, might've gotten it wrong. And it's really gonna come down to the wording of the story. Watch this. 12 goes into 13 just one time. We'll go ahead and subtract 12. One left over, bring that seven down. 12 goes into 17 one time. Subtract the 12, five left over, bring the six. Everyone, 12 goes into 56, how many times? 12 goes into 56, four times. So this is where some of us will be thinking, hey, this is 114. This is done, case closed. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna subtract 48, and we have a leftover, a remainder of eight. So, what does that mean? What does it mean for us to have 114 right here, and then a remainder of eight? Think about it like this, everybody. Think about it like this. If we bought 114 packs of markers, how many markers do we still need? How many markers will we have left? Yeah, we'll still have eight markers. We need to buy enough packs to cover all 48 classrooms. We had to cover an additional 1,376. If we stop at 114, we ignore the remaining markers that we need. So therefore, everybody, the answer is not 114. To get the number of packs, to cover all of our needs, we are going to round up. We're going to round up in this particular case because 114 is not enough. 115 gives us enough. It gives us a little extra for sure, but it does cover our needs. And that's why the answer here is not 114, but instead 115.